Hello everyone, my name is Rick Jenkins and I'm the publisher at GSA Business Report and we are the media company that serves high-level business executives in the upstate of South Carolina. And welcome to another episode of 120 Seconds where we go two minutes with the business leader in the upstate talking about basically whatever the heck I want to talk about. But we have fun with it. It'll only take 120 seconds or so. We might go into overtime. So one business leader, two minutes, zero bull. Well, maybe a little bit of bull, maybe. <laughs> Today, I'm going to go 120 seconds with Jim Agnew. He is the CEO of the Greenville Memorial Medical Campus. Jim, welcome. Thank you, Rick. It is good to have you here. Nice to be here. All right. We're going to get going with you in just a second. But before we do, I want to hear from our sponsor, People Surge. People Surge is the sponsor of this video series. Watch this just for a minute. We'll be right back. Today's business leaders struggle to find good people that are the right fit for their organization. They're searching for ways to develop future leaders, and they're curious about how to build a winning culture. So People Surge, our mission is to help organizations build the confidence that they need to build those cultures. And we do that through a combination of science, data, and 30 years of experience being CEOs and business owners. All right, welcome back. Let's get started, Jim. Before we start the 120 seconds, though, I want to just real quick, uh, you're not from around here. You, you've been here for 10 months, right? That's correct. You just came to Greenville. And where were you before you got here? I was in Phoenix, Arizona. Phoenix, Arizona. Yes. And didn't you spend some time out west? Yeah. <laughs> for a little while? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. I bet this is a heck of a lot different than the other places you've been. Yes, that's correct. It's okay though, right? It is. It is. It's been a great uh, 10 months in, Fe in certainly in the Greenville area. Right. Uh, very different though than Phoenix. Yeah. Oh gosh, I can imagine. My sister lives in Phoenix now and, and uh, she moved there from Kentucky. And uh, so she has told me how different it is. So, but anyway, welcome to the Upstate. It's good to have you. And I'm glad you're on 120 seconds. So gentlemen, you're going to give me a bell. And when we hear the bell, we're going to get going. Where were you born and raised, Jim? I was born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Pittsburgh. Where'd you get your education? Uh, I went to the University of Maryland. Okay. Uh, Terrapin. Terrapin. Yes. All right. You've been with Prisma for 10 months, as you said. And where were you before that? What job? I work for Banner Health in Phoenix. I got it. Okay. The anchor of the metal camp, medical campus is the Greenville Memorial Hospital, of course. Uh, how many beds? Uh, we have around 750 beds on that campus. Okay. Um, you got a whole lot of pieces to that medical campus. Pick something and uh, tell me besides the hospital itself. Well, we have Roger C. Peace uh, Rehabilitation Hospital on our campus, and that's about 65 beds. Okay. How many babies you bring in the world every year? So here on the GMC campus, there's right around 6,000 or so babies each oh, year. Oh, my goodness. 6,000 a year. Do you have children, speaking of babies? I do, but they're not babies anymore. Uh, uh, right. I, I bet two, they're not. Uh, exactly. 27 and 24. And what are their names? Josh and Hannah. Which one's your favorite? <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, forget it. We'll answer. move on. Forget yeah. it. We'll move on. How many telehealth visits have you done since the virus outbreak? Oh, we've done, uh, it, for Prisma Upstate, we've done a little over 250,000 telehealth visits. Really? Yes, quite a few. How many COVID tests are you doing daily on average? Just give me an average. Uh, on uh, daily, we've well, we've done about a hundred thousand. Uh, so each day, we're probably doing uh, just on our campus um, a lot, a lot, yeah, uh, several let, hundred, let, several let's, hundred. Let's leave yes. it at that. I'm sure it's a whole lot. Do you have enough personal protection equipment? We do. Yes. Ventilators? There's plenty of ventilators. All right. right so if somebody mm -hmm. gets in trouble, they're going to have a ventilator if they need. That's it. correct. The hospital recently received uh, magnet recognition. What is that? So magnet recognition is an opportunity for us to achieve designation by the American Nurse Credentialing Center, which really is the highest uh, form of no accreditation, accreditation for nurses. It right. talks about professionalism uh, and excellence in patient care. Speaking of nurses, how many do you have? We have right around 1,600, or no, right around uh, 3,400 nurses. On our oh campus. my goodness. I never would have thought it was that much. Do you need more? Always. <laughs> Always. <laughs> I got you. That's 120 seconds with Jim Agnew, the CEO of Greenville Memorial Medical Campus. I appreciate you being here. But we've got one more question for you, and it's going to come from our sponsor, Mike Mosel, who was with People Surge, has a question. I believe it's about COVID. What do you got, Mike? A lot of people say they shouldn't have to wear a mask. How do you feel about that? Mike, that is a really good question. Jim, what do you say? 
So certainly, anytime you're going to be around other individuals, you should wear a mask. And I think we all have an opportunity to be responsible for ourselves in our communities. And so I truly believe that it's important for us to wear masks, and especially when we cannot social distance. But anytime when we're around others, we should have a mask. We gotta be smart, right? Absolutely. Agreed with you. Folks, that concludes another episode of 120 Seconds. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. Check out our YouTube page for more episodes of 120 Seconds or a lot of other video shows that we do. We'll see you next time.